Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with another one of those ridiculous TV license letters that are sent out to try and scare you into paying for something you might not need. Let's take a look at this one, and as always, I'll break it down each bit and let you know how not scary it is and what you need to do about it to avoid any trouble coming. Right, let's start. So this one has an extra scary little bit at the top right under the logo. Look, visit being authorised. Not being authorised, being authorised. Oh, you can act now and you can stop it. Right, so the main headline of it is, ignoring this letter could cost you a lot more than the licence fee. Oh, scary. But it's not in red letters today, which is a shame. They must be saving on ink or something, eh? Dear Sir, Madam, we understand you may be busy, but since you didn't respond to our last letter, an investigation into your property has now begun. Don't assume that we're busy. We might just be completely ignoring your TV licensing. As your second part of that says, but since you didn't respond to our last letter, yeah, because we didn't want to. We don't have to. It's so uh, presumptive, I think. Is, it, is that a word? Presumptive? That they think we have to respond to them. But if you're new to all this, you don't. You can ignore TV license. You don't have to speak to them. There's no law saying you have to have a TV license to own a TV or to use your TV to watch stuff. It's only certain stuff. You know, but they just think everybody has to have a TV license. Why? I just really, really, one day, want to open up one of these letters and see, look, you don't have a TV license at the minute. This is what you can do without one. This is what you need one for. Do you need one? Give us a call. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. I'd be praising them all over the shop before I tore the letter apart again on one of these videos. Anyway, but why do they just presume everybody needs their license? Not everybody does. I don't, and many of you don't. And more and more people every day don't. Right, let's carry on. But you can still stop the investigation. What investigation is that then? But you need to buy a license without delay. Why? I don't need to have a TV license. No law saying I have to have a TV license. I can probably watch 90% of the stuff I'd watch with a license, without a license. And there's no law saying I have to have a license. So you're scaring me by saying you're going to investigate my address, but I can stop this by buying something I don't need. So if you're new to this fight, their investigation consists of sending someone to your property to knock on your door and ask you what you watch in an intimidating manner. That's what they do. And that's how they get you. That's how they get you. If you admit to doing something you shouldn't, you're going to get a fine or they make you pay for a TV license. So you let them into your property, whether you're playing a straight game like me or not, there's loads of horror stories that they will try and stitch you up. Their investigation is that, sending someone to knock on your door. And many people think that their enforcement officers, as they call them, have some kind of powers of the law. They don't. They don't have any more power than you or I. They're nobodies. They're door-to-door -door salesmen. But not everybody understands it, and that's one of the things I'm fighting for, is to get people to understand they are just door-to-door -door salesmen, as official as they want to look, with their clipboards and their little computers, or dressing, you know, a bit authoritative, is that a word? You know, they're not. They're nobodies. They're door-to-door -door salesmen. And the best way to deal with a door-to-door -door salesman is go, no thank you, and shut the door in their face, and let them toddle along. And you are perfectly within your rights to do that. It's the main thing to do. So you open the door and say, who are you? I'm from TV Licensing. Bang, shut the door. No thanks. Bye, bye, bye. Shut the door. Or if you've got a ring doorbell, just shout through. They say from TV Licensing, go, no, go away, mate. Not interested. And they will go away. They have to go away if you ask them to go away. It's in their charter. If you manage to film them not going away, then you've had a result. Please do send that over to me because I'd love to share that and see what Capita and TV Licensing have to say about that. Right, let's read on and see if anything else interesting appears in this letter. A court appearance could cost you over £1,000. As your details have now been passed to our enforcement division, oh, we're not trying to scare you though, it's just a gentle reminder to buy a TV licence. Enforcement division! A visit to your property is being authorised. Wow. If you are found to be watching or recording live TV programmes on any channel, or downloading or watching BBC programmes on iPlayer illegally, so there, right at the bottom, under all the scary stuff, they finally told you what you can and can't do without a TV license. If you don't watch anything as it's being broadcast and you don't use BBC iPlayer, you don't need a license. Why can't they just put that in clear-headed text on there? Why? Why can't they put that? Because they want to scare you into paying your 159 quid a year, even though you might not need to. And these letters are an absolute joke. Absolute joke. 
you may face prosecution and a fine of up to £1,000 plus any legal costs and or compensation you may be ordered to pay. So it's important at this point to remind you that the only way you can get into any trouble is by talking to them when they knock on your door. Now you shouldn't be watching something you shouldn't be watching without a license. I don't condone that. I never do. But the only way you can get into trouble is by talking to them on your doorstep. TV detector vans are a myth. And even if they were real, motorbike, let that motorbike go. And even if TV detector vans were real, what are they detecting? You can have a TV in your home. I've got a TV in pretty much every room of the house and I don't need a TV license by law because I don't watch or record anything that's been broadcast or use iPlayer. So a TV detector van parked out the front detects a telly in your house, but you don't have to have a license. So it's a myth, it's a myth. They didn't exist and they certainly don't exist now. Absolute, absolute myth. The only way they can get any evidence against you to get you a fine or get you into any trouble is by you talking to them on your doorstep. That's where all the evidence comes from. Now, if you've just gone, no thanks, mate, and you've shut the door in their face, investigation over. There is no more investigation. And the £1,000 fine, yeah, all right, that is the maximum they can give you. And occasionally it does get given out. But the average fine is about 180 quid, which ain't far off the cost of a tele license anyway, is it? But you won't get that or any, any trouble whatsoever if you close the door on them and don't speak to them. That's it. That's where all their evidence can come from for their investigation. But I, I like the fact that their investigation hasn't so far reached to who stays at this property because it's addressed to present occupier and it says, Dear Sir Madam. So your investigation's going well, is it? You haven't even found out our bloody name. But you're going to come knock on our door and intimidate us into paying for something we might not need. Lovely. Lovely people at TV licensing, isn't it? And just to rub salt into the wound, get a big maximum fine of a thousand pounds in a red circle for no reason whatsoever. What they should put in that red circle is, do you need a license? Here's what you can watch if you don't need one. Done. But then that wouldn't sell any TV licenses, would it? But being scary obviously does because they said in the newspaper, a TV licensing spokesperson said, when because I think they're spending like over nine million quid a year sending these letters out. And um, a BBC spokesperson said, they work, they make more than they cost to send out. So these tactics work, these intimidation tactics are working. And that's what this channel's all about, is to help people not be scared or intimidated by these ridiculous letters that I have no idea how they're allowed to write things like this. Can you imagine any other company? Can you imagine you changing from British Gas to Eon or something, and then British Gas sending you a letter saying, you need to buy the gas from us or we're gonna give you a fine. Can you imagine that? Just all, you know, you've stopped using your Tesco club card because now you're going to Morrison's and Tesco sending you one like this. You need to pay us if you're not gonna use your club card. Can you, <laughs> you know, how, would, how does this company get away with it? How does the company get away with it? It's because they're backed by the government and the government make quite a few quid out the TV licenses as well. They're all in it together and we're all in this fight together and we will win. We'll win one day, it'll take a little while. The next chart reviews in 2027. By then, we should have a bit more traction and uh, a lot more people will be in this fight and a lot more people won't be paying them. Because the best way, the best way to win this fight is to help as many people as possible not pay the telly license. Then it will go away. Or it's not even your problem. Or they might do something else. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Because I'm not going anywhere and we're gonna win this fight one day. And I wanna get these letters stopped and especially these letters being stopped going to the older and vulnerable people. So if you receive any letters, I'd love to see them. But do me a favor first, there's a playlist down below. Have a look in there just to make sure I haven't already done a video on a letter, because if I have, there's no need to send it to me. But many people get ones that I haven't seen before. There's quite a new, few new designs coming out. That's why I'm ramping up doing a few more letters at the minute. So if you've got one, do send it over to me. The link is below on how to send it to me. I'd love to see it. And I really appreciate you sending all your stuff over so I can share it with everybody else and help everybody in this community. Let me know what you think about this letter as well down in the comments below if you think it's ridiculous like I do how they're allowed to get away with intimidating sounding letters like this. And check out our playlist, watch a couple more if you like and a few other videos as well. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.